There you are, a lump of wood. You're coming to the Lord. And he begins the process of remaking you and repurposing you. Now, this board of wood was bought with a purpose. Just like you are born with a purpose. So it may look like your identity is being changed totally, but no. Now you're about to know what your identity is. You have no idea why all that was cut away from you. And you feel stripped. You almost feel scared because so much of you is being removed. But now, here you're cut down to a bare minimal. This is the stripping process. And what ends up happening? It's time for you to be shaped. And I'm going to fast forward. I want you to see the shaping process. He is placing you in a contraption in life. And he's shaping you. He is rounding out all your rough edges. Look at this. That's what he's doing. And look at all those chips of wood coming off. That's your flesh being removed. Oh my goodness. I just want you to understand that God knows what he's doing in your life. And when you feel like you're being stripped down to, to a bare nothing. That's where God needs you to be. Because that's when the beautifying process begins. All of this chipping away, all that dead weight taken off, all those weights and sins that so easily beset you throughout your life. He cut away, he shaped you, he sliced you, he diced you. Now he's shaping you. Now look at that. Totally changed your appearance. Now he's given you a new identity. And the purpose for which you were made is finally becoming evident. And he pulls out every tool. Now this is what I want you to think about. When you look at all the tools God makes, arguments, broken friendships, disappointments. Oh my goodness, it just seems like when does it end? We get so tired of being sick and tired, don't we? Now he's added another attachment and you'll start to figure out what this is supposed to be. This is the part of life we hate. Life pounds on you, pounds on you. Feels like you're being beaten up, pounded upon. Oh, Lord, when will it ever stop? Please stop it, Lord. I rebuke you. I rebuke you, Satan. Get off of me, Satan. And you have no idea what you thought was the work of Satan is actually God's design. Now, I know you're wondering, what is that getting ready to be? But you've got to watch this. Oh, man, now you get put in a tight space where you can't get away. You're locked in. No way of escape, seemingly. But what is God doing to you? He's adding a new shape. He's doing a new piece of <laughs> making and molding. And he's polishing and he's rounding out the edges. But he's sharpening you at the same time. Life is sharpening you up. Like I said before, life is God's tool. Oh, man. Now you think, okay, we're good. Whew, okay, we're going to polish. This part might hurt a little bit, but it won't last long, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Like, what's next? Now, let me fast forward and you'll see what's next. This is something else. 
how life does this to us. Now look what he's making. Oh no, we're hammering again. What's going on? Oh boy, I'm telling you. How much does God think I can take? How much does God think you can take? You ask that question over and over, but God will not put on you more than you can handle. Wow, he's doing something. You're gonna become something you never thought you could become. But you've got to go through that process. Oh, that pain taking. Excruciating. Confining process. Oh no, now what's happening is like somebody's cutting all into you. Oh. Now what? Now you feel like you're getting scarred up by life. Oh. Now, let's go forward and see what else is going to happen to this poor thing. What is he doing now? What? It's not done? Oh no, some more hammering. <sighs> it hurts, Lord, it hurts. <sighs> that even sounds painful, doesn't it? Now watch this. This is when you begin to come to a realization of what you were called to be. Now watch, here's another analogy. You see how far back he's pulling that bow and arrow? The further back he pulls it, the further back it's pulled. Do you realize that the furthest, the, see when you pull it that far back, that arrow can shoot far.